Hello there! Today I am going to be making some uh, mini chicken pot pies. And I'm going to use mini pie crusts. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just starting with some butter in a pan and some of those canned potatoes and some fresh cut onions. To that I'm going to add, after it's you know got some color on it, I'll add the peas and carrots. And then I'll add some other things I'll show you as I go along. My name is Kendra, and I'm glad you stopped by. Um, if you um, like this kind of thing, like recipes or um, organizing or decorating, I hope you'll consider coming back around. And if you still like what you see, maybe consider subscribing. I've added some um, pepper. I was going to add salt, too, but then it dawned on me, you know, that um, some of the ingredients already have salt in them, so I'm going to let them salt at the table if they like it. Put in some smoked paprika, give it a little bit of color, and because chicken and paprika and vegetables go together well, and I like smoked paprika. Well, the onions and the potatoes got color on them. I should have showed you that before. They're underneath here. You'll see them in a minute. So then I added, well, there they are. Okay, that's the potatoes and the onions. And then I added frozen peas and carrots that I let drain and thaw, and a can of chicken and some cream of chicken soup. So the chicken was the Kirkland, just one can, and one can of cream of chicken. Now I have just a little bit of um, this bouillon mix left in here so I put some hot water and I shook it so I got all of it out of the jar and I'll add this if it looks dry. In my opinion it does look dry and I didn't take the lid off of the jar. Oop, I can get it off with one hand I just know I can. Okay keep talking. I want you to wander off because you get bored. <laughs> okay so I'm just going to add some of this liquid which is the leftovers like I said. Well you know what? Add it all can put flour in if it needs to be. I'm gonna put flour in it anyway, a little bit, like maybe a tablespoon as a binder. I cannot find my Wondra flour. You know, it's canned flour. <sighs> oh, I wonder if I stuck it up in the um, Hoosier cabinet. I'm gonna look in there because, oh, that looks way better. Yeah, that made all the difference and probably all the flavor difference too. So I'm just gonna leave this here. To set for a bit and I'm gonna go work on the crusts and try to get it so you can see better okay so this is the pie crust and you can tell it's perforated and you're supposed to stick them inside the muffin tins this is not dirty I mean it it looks filthy but this is years as in years and years <laughs> decades of use it's been to the dishwasher. It's I'm, I maybe could hit it with oven cleaner, but I think I would ruin it. So I'm okay with it. I'm gonna cut these apart and lay one in each of these. Well, all one of each of these. Here we go. I got two, four, six, seven. Like it says, seven on each sheet. So I'll have seven tops. What I'm probably gonna do is just fill the rest of these muffin cups and get a regular pie crust and use a canning jar lid to cut. Oh, I have circular ones. I'll get a cookie cutter. Let me turn a light on for you. Oh, that probably isn't much better. But anyway, here's one that I haven't put a lid on. Here's what I have put a lid on. I'll cut a couple of slits in the top and put like an egg wash across so that it shines. And I'll get the rest of them done. All right, so this is interesting. I feel like the regular pie crust, just cutting it mini, I don't know why it never occurred to me to do this, was half as, 50% easier than cutting out those perforated, uh, you know, shapes and sticking them down in there. So, okay, here's the two that I had enough for lids. And, you know, they look okay and they look a little odd. <laughs> but anyway, um, so... Here's the ones that I cut out. I betcha that these are gonna be fine just laid on top like this. There may be some bubble over, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna hit them, like I said, with a little egg wash and um, maybe I'll seal them down a little bit as they soften. But I, I don't believe that, um, I mean, maybe they will, but I'm not thinking they'll be on the market long because 
really they're they're just not that special in my opinion maybe somebody else used them better than i did there's the oven it's ready to go 350 degrees until they're done everything's done i just need to brown the crust you know there they are i did that um poke uh, two holes in each one and gave them that shiny egg wash and they're in here for 15 minutes 350 degrees here they are so they actually took closer to i'd say 25 minutes to um get this brown now the instructions said on their mini pie crust do not grease the muffin tins so i'm hoping that they come out really easily and that my using a different crust for the tops on some of them doesn't make a difference and make them stick but they may stick anyway and if they do they do they'll still be edible donna's mom will be here in about an hour and then we're going to have dinner, and then Patience is going to go get a haircut for the first day of school. I don't know. I I should just let it go. It's just hair, Kendra, but I love her long hair, and I hope that they don't cut it real, real short, you know, because she's so pretty with long hair. She's pretty no matter what. Get over it, Kendra. Okay. Well, they came out pretty well, and I'm just going to put them in these little ramekins to eat. I started off using a butter knife to go around the edges to loosen it. And then um, when that didn't work so well, I went for a spoon and it fits, you know, around the edges a lot better. And it just, you could just scoop it up all in one piece. So there's a tip if you ever do this and you probably have way better luck than I did. I just think it was labor intensive and it's cute if you have little children, though, so patience will think it's darling. I'm going to serve this with some watermelon on the side, and then she can have some of that if she wants. She may be full after this. If she wants some of that um, caramel apple yumminess <laughs> with vanilla ice cream from Veronica's page.